The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith, and on today's show, we're learning about a new steel siding product. We'll begin out at our project where Joe Conacher from Edco Products explains why these homeowners selected steel to replace the worn out cedar siding on their 30 year old home. Next, we'll visit the Edco Products manufacturing facility in Hopkins, Minnesota to see how these state of the art products are made. And we'll finish up with the installation process and see the beautifully color coordinated end result. So, we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started right after these messages. Look around any mature neighborhood and chances are you'll see a number of homes whose exteriors are tired and in need of a facelift. On today's show, we'll visit one such home where the homeowners recently replaced their roof only to realize that their siding needed an upgrade too. So let's begin with Joe Conacher from Edco Products as he explains the process these homeowners took for replacing the siding on their home. Well, Joe, I remember this location. It was a few weeks ago. We were here, and the young couple were replacing their roof, and I love that steel roof. It just looks fantastic. Well, a lot has happened since we were last here, and the couple is absolutely thrilled with the appearance that they have got now. And It took them about three to four days to complete the entire job, Stu. And just to give you a little background on this home, it was built in 1984. It was purchased by a young family a couple of years ago and they soon noticed that the asphalt roof was in need of replacement. Uh, yeah, it was pretty beat up and worn yeah, out. Yeah, the shingles were starting to curl and they were cracking and there was some peeling going on there and the uh, granules were coming off and even some moss was growing on it. It was so unsightly that they said that it was time to replace it and they did it now. Yeah, they did their homework too and they selected that metal roof shake and I tell you, it looks so authentic. What an improvement. And as I recall, these homeowners won't have to worry about ever needing to replace it. Well, that's what we call it the forever roof. and We back it up with a lifetime warranty. So they truly are set on that roof forever or, or as long as they live in this home. Now, they get the roof done. Is that when they realized that they had a, another problem? Well, that was the problem. They were so thrilled with the way that the roof was turned out that the siding was disappointing to them. And they started looking at it even closer and they noticed that it was peeling. In fact, they've even got a sample piece here, Stu, and you can see where the paint was peeling on it and they had some rotting that was going on. The caulking was starting to come off around the windows and just in general, it, it needed a lot of work that had to be done. And they're a young family. They wanted to spend more of their time together doing fun things as opposed to painting a home or, or replacing boards and so on. So they just decided to look into putting a new siding on. Yeah, these are great examples of what happens to wood siding. Sure, it's cedar, it lasts a long time, but eventually after, what is it, 30 years now, it's starting to wear out. And who wants to do maintenance on the weekends? Well, nobody does, and as you mentioned, it's 30 years old, it's done its job, and uh, now it's time to replace. The look has changed somewhat that we're using today, and they wanted something that's maintenance free. <laughs> sure, and the look has changed considerably. I remember it was the old 45 degree angled look that was in in the mid 80s. It's definitely not in now. and seeing the new siding that they selected, it really transforms this home, brings it into a modern look, yet it fits in to the natural environment around here. And I think a lot has to do not only with the color they selected, but the embossing on that new siding. The product that they selected was our new six inch single six steel siding with the Entex finish and they spent a lot of time looking and most of it really on the internet at all the different options that were available. You know we always say be an educated consumer you're going to get your best value. Is that your advice to a consumer is educate yourself on the different siding and roofing products through the internet? No question about it. It's so easy to go on there and start looking at what's available out there. Most of the manufacturers such as ourselves have tools to assist them in selecting color combinations and different products. So we have five different styles of steel siding. They elected this one because they like the look on this particular home. You know, to me it seems as though the onus has fallen more onto the homeowners to be educated 
not so much allow the contractor to tell them what's going to go on their house. From a homeowner standpoint, do your homework and select the best product for your situation. Well, we have contractors tell us that in focus meetings too. The homeowners come and they virtually got a list of what they want on the home. Part of the decision making process with this job, Stu, was that they wanted to make sure that they had gutters that were color coordinated to match, they wanted a soffit that was going to match, how they trimmed their windows, and we were able to give them everything that tied together and was color coordinated. And that's probably good advice for anybody because this isn't that uncommon of a situation. A 30 year old home, it's showing signs of wear, tear, it's just look tired, you need a facelift. You're going to find as you do your homework that a company like Edco that has the roofing products, the siding products, the trim products, the gutters, they can offer you a color coordinated, very durable product that you're never gonna have to worry about. Well, we have the forever roof and now they've got the forever siding going on here. And you know, one thing I really liked, I went to your website, you had that color tool. It allowed a homeowner the opportunity to visualize what these products look like on different homes. We get so many positive comments regarding that tool that we have there. And as I mentioned, this is a virtually new product. It's 60 days old or less. And so we don't have a lot of completed jobs that they can look at. So by going to our website, they're able to just dial it up there and see what these color combinations are going to look like. And they get a pretty good idea of what they're going to have. Yeah, visualization, that's a key. And it helps reassure people they're making the right decision. Now, you said it's a relatively new product. What takes so long to develop a siding product like this? Well, the thing that took us the longest really was the Enduragrain emboss that we have on this. And if you notice, it's got this texture that runs through it, Stu and we have to be careful that we don't get a repeat in it so that it doesn't look phony, so that it has a realistic look to it. Also, we need that because it has a lot of strength to the product. We get a little hail up here, Stu, and we want to make sure that we can withstand these hailstorms that we're getting. Well, just my first impression, feeling it, it's very rigid. It's not a wimpy, thin metal that's going to be dented by an acorn being shot out of the side of a lawnmower. Well, and there's not going to be any hail holes in it either. <laughs> Fantastic. So again, young couple, looking to the future with products like this, they're never going to have to worry about maintenance or replacing them down the road. They are totally done, and as the homeowner told me, hopefully he said I'll have time for a round of golf or maybe catch some of those Minnesota walleyes. Oh boy, wouldn't that be nice. I'm anxious to learn more about the embossing process. Can we head back to your factory and learn about that and then pick up the installation process later in the show? Okay, sounds good. And we'll do that next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. In our last segment, we learned the process these homeowners took for replacing the siding on their 30-year-old home and how they used the internet to select a company that offers a full complement of color-coordinated products to go along with the steel siding they selected. Now let's continue with Joe Conacher from Edco Products, who takes us through their state-of-the-art production facility in Hopkins, Minnesota. Wow, Joe, this is a very impressive manufacturing facility. Looks like you're moving a lot of product through here. Well, we sure tried to anyway. This is essentially where the manufacturing process begins, Stu. We start with bare aluminum or steel coil coming from domestic mills. We'll bring it in here and we'll run it through this coil coating line that we have. It's loaded at the far end, then we'll run it through the cleaning process where we're cleaning it at high temperature so we make sure that we have all of the oily solutions off of it which normally comes with aluminum or steel just to protect it. Uh, that seems to me that that would be a very important aspect of it, getting it clean, because after all, you're applying a coating on top of that. The adhesion is only as good as the cleaning itself. Everything we do here is important, Stu. This is a lifetime product. We expect these to last forever. So the cleaning is extremely important. From there, we put on a product we call Bondarite, and that acts as a preservative and also gives us good adhesion we bake on the finishers later on. So when you say that actually is a preservative coating, since you're using galvanized steel or aluminum, why do you need that additional protection? Just additional protection. Again, these products are for a lifetime and we want to make sure that we're doing everything possible to ensure that that's going to happen. I like that. So you're not resting on the reputation of the raw material. You're taking it one step further to, again, ensure good longevity. Absolutely. Okay, so I can see some of that process taking place as it goes here. Then it goes up to the ceiling and into the coating room. Let's go take a look at how that process works. Okay. Well, Stu, we're about halfway through the coil coating process now. The coil has been cleaned and prepped. Now we're up here in the primer room where we're applying the prime coat. 
and from there it goes through a series of infrared ovens, then down below where the finished coat is put on. If you like, I'll take you down there and show you. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I'm amazed at all that heat coming off of there. Well, it has to be baked on thoroughly before we can put the top coat on. Stu, this is our coater room. And today we're applying a PVC coating called Plastic Red. This will ultimately end up in our steel siding product line. But we do more than just paint the PVC coatings for the steel siding here. We paint all of the various coatings. I think we're totaling about 100 colors over four different types of finishes. Wow, and what amazes me most about this whole facility is all the automation. That must be the key to the success. Well, certainly good equipment is important, but what really makes it work is the employees that we have here. We have years of experience behind us. Somehow they tie it all together and they make it work and our product passes our rigid quality control standards. Now you mentioned this is the siding line, but this isn't the shape that we're all familiar with. How is that fabricated? Once we've got the top coat applied, Stu, we'll run it through our gas-fired ovens at a temperature of approximately 500 plus degrees. We then cool it down, we'll roll it back up, and it's ready to go upstairs into production. If you like, we can go up there and take a look at it now. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Still, we have here a roll of steel coil that's been painted in our coil coating line. This one happens to be a sand beige. When we were down there earlier, we saw classic red being coated. But this is now ready to go on to our double four siding line. We have five different lines in-house, each doing a different profile. Wow, so different profiles, different shapes, ultimately for the consumer, they can achieve any look they're looking for with that many style options. Well, at the job site, we saw six inch today. We also have it in an eight inch width. This happens to be a double four, as I mentioned earlier. You can see it's four and four to give you an eight inch to the weather, but four inch course. And it's got a different embossed that we had on the job site as well. Boy, that really does take a different shape from what it arrives into this building at. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. This has our timber grain embossed. This is a PVC coating, too. At the job site, we have the Entex coating. The Entex is a lower gloss. This is a little bit higher gloss, giving you that fresh paint look. Now, are those two options available on all your different sidings? Yes, they are, Stu. We, we do focus meetings. We bring in customers and contractors, home builders, and there's still quite a demand for this uh, fresh paint look, if you will. But we see the trend now going more and more to the lower gloss matte. Sure, again, personal preference. Okay, just out of curiosity, how much does one of these coils weigh? Well, one of these coils weighs approximately 3,000 pounds, so there'd be about 3,000 square foot of siding in there. Wow, that's cool. So uh, how does it go from coil stock to the end product? Okay, we've loaded it on what we call an unwinder. Then we'll run it through the embosser. This is our timber grain embosser I mentioned earlier. That puts the texturing in it. After that's done, we'll run it through a conditioner or a leveler, if you will, and that makes the metal dead flat before it goes through the roll coating process. And I bet that leveler is extremely important because you want the end product to be perfectly flat. Ultimately, it'll lay nicer on the side of the structure. Yeah, absolutely. You want a dead flat panel when you put it on. This enables us to do that. Okay, now, how does it ultimately take shape? Well, still, you can see here, we're gradually forming the product. Each one of these is what we call a station, and it'll bend the product approximately 15 degrees. Oh, I like that. Why don't you do it all with just one or two rollers? You're not going to get the consistency that you need in the panel. Boy, there seems to be an awful lot of R&D that goes into these products. Well, it's a continuous work in progress. We're continuously working out ways we can improve the panel and get a better shape with it. And uh, it never stops. We have a lot of people that have been here over 40 years, and so we have a lot of experience on our side as well. But despite all the R&D and automation, it still comes down ultimately to the employees here when you're talking about quality control. Everyone here is responsible for quality. They're all inspectors, Stu. We're striving to produce the perfect product with zero complaints. Well, it looks great as it's coming off the line here. Now, I like the way it cuts it exactly at what, about a 12-foot length? Yes, that's what we call a flying cutoff. 
so the line never has to stop if you do the cutoff on it. The lengths are typically 12 to 12 and a half foot long, although we are now with a new single six, offering that in a 16 foot eight inch length as an alternative. And the length of the siding really comes into play because a longer piece is less seams on the side of a building? Yes, no question about it. You're gonna end up with less seams the longer the piece you have. And to some people, that's extremely important. Okay, so once it comes down here, I can see the guys boxing it up. Where does it go from this stage? Well, as they put it in the box, everybody's inspecting it. Now then all the cartons will be closed, they'll be palletized, and it'll go over to our distribution center. Well, as we saw in today's project, you know, there's roofing, there's siding, but there's also trim and gutters and soft It's like a puzzle. The pieces of the puzzle, if you have them all from the same manufacturer, it makes for a better end result. All of these products are color coordinated, they all tie together, and they make for a nice looking finished job. Stick around, we'll head back out to our project next when we continue with today's Home Remodeler. Earlier in today's show, we learned the process these homeowners took to select new siding, soffit, fascia, trim, gutters, and downspouts for their home, and saw the state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hopkins, Minnesota, where all of these products are made. Now let's finish up with Joe Conacher from Edco Products, who explains the installation process and walks us through the beautiful end result. Well, Joe, this project turned out wonderful. You know, oftentimes we talk about transformations, but this is second to none, and I love the way these products help this house blend into the natural, mature environment of this lot. It's quite a change, isn't it, Stu? I spoke with the homeowners this morning, and they're extremely happy with the way the project turned out. If you recall, the home was about 30 years old. It had cedar siding on, which was tired. It had done its job, and uh, it was starting to need to be replaced in certain areas. The caulking was coming off, and there certainly it needed to be coated or painted as well. So they elected to go with our single six steel siding with the Endura grain emboss with the Antex finish. You know, they certainly made the right choice on the products. And we say products because what we've learned on today's show is there's a lot more products than just the siding that go into a project like this. Oh yeah, there's a number of things that really add up to having the perfect siding job. And if you'd like, let's maybe focus on the trim package that they put on the home. Sure, and we can wrap up the show learning more about the installation of these products. and. You know, starting here with this window, I love the wider trim around the windows. Yes, this homeowner elected to go with a six inch wide trim around the windows. We see six being very, very popular today. In addition to that, you'll see a four inch trim that's used quite frequently. It seems like the wider trims replace the shutter look that we used in the 90s and the 80s and so on. So this gives it a little more up to date look and accents the windows. And that's uh, what they wanted. And again, what we learned on today's show is by being an educated consumer, you can get different choices that fit your personal preference. Your color tool shows it yeah. on the website, and these homeowners did a great job of getting what they wanted and fitting it into the neighborhood. The thing that I noticed with the six inch trim is it really softens the J channel. It certainly does. Now, going around the windows when the siding will butt up against it, they have two different options to do. One is they can butt up against the trim and then caulk it, which is the traditional way you would see with wood sidings or with fiber type products, or they have the option here with our product of running it into a J channel to cap it off and give a nice neat appearance. And just looking at the installed product here, this contractor did a great job. Yeah, you can have the best products in the world, but it's only as good as the crew that's putting the product on. And in this case, they had Reinhardt Exteriors, a local contract to do the installation. As you can see, the job is perfect. And they elected to tear off all of the old siding before they put the new product on. They wrap the house with the Tyvek product, and then they put the steel starter strips on, the J-channels in the corners, very comparably to other steel sidings. So if you're a consumer looking for the latest, greatest steel siding, you don't have to worry about a learning curve for your experienced contractor. Oh, it's very adaptable to anyone that's put on any type of siding, whether it be vinyl or steel or whatever. You start with starter strips, J-channels, and it's very comparable. Wow, Joe, out back here. It's equally, if not more so, impressive. And the thing that really stands out to me with the steel siding is I can't see the seams. You have long runs of siding there, yet I can't see them. 
they're almost impossible to detect, uh, unlike maybe some of the wood sightings that you see today or the fiber products where they have to allow for expansion and contractions. We can overlay the seams on this and they're as tight as you can possibly be. And if they're concerned about even that type of a seam, uh, we can minimize that by going from a traditional 12 and a half foot panel to the 16 foot eight panels that we've used on this job. And you know, one thing I noticed, I look at the windows, they went with the four inch back here, which really makes sense when you have this many windows. Yeah, that was the thought process of the homeowners too. They felt that they didn't want to get too busy in the back and they didn't want the window trim to overpower the siding. So they want the four inch trim back here, they have the six in the front and on the corner post. And you know, we've been talking throughout today's show about coordinated products from the same manufacturer and it's nowhere more apparent than when you look at the roof here, high def look to it, beautiful steel roof, but it's tied in with the siding, with the trim, with the soffit, the fascia, even the downspouts and gutters. Everything ties together and that's the way it really should be. It's all a baked on coating done at our lines and they have the consistency throughout the entire job. And you know as I look at that roof I love the high def finish but I know at Edco you guys have been working on some high def siding finishes as well. Yes, we have. It's a proprietary process that we have developed over the course of the last couple of years where we will take a standard color like the canyon that's on the home here and we will put this coating over the top of it to give this appearance. This is fantastic. You know, I've never seen anything like it. It's so realistic and this is just on a small piece. I bet it looks just beautiful on a full side of a house. Oh, the test jobs we've done are absolutely beautiful, Stu, and uh, we presented this to the focus group meetings that we had and it was incredible, the preference for this type of a finish. Well, I've said it time and time again, I love a company that continues to evolve because it gives more choices and better end results for the end user. And when you talk about end results, as I mentioned earlier, it's second to none, and I think the icing on the cake is that board and batten detail at the front entryway. Yes, we see a trend now where homeowners are trying to accent the siding itself, and maybe in the gable ends they'll use our vertical board and batten, which is a 12-inch panel, or in the front of the house, as they've done here. And in fact, here, they not only accented it with the vertical board and batten, but they also changed the color in the front, too. They went to a T-tone, which complements the canyon color we have on the house. Well, hopefully after walking through this process, any viewer can end up with the same end results if they follow along, become educated, look at the websites, and just consider all their options and work with an experienced professional. I appreciate you coming on and walking us through all these great products. My pleasure, Stu. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. If your home's exterior is looking tired and worn out, consider a facelift using new siding, soffit, fascia, trim, gutters, and downspouts. A good place to start the process is on the internet, where you can visit various manufacturers' websites to learn about all the different options and find a company like Edco Products that color coordinates all their products to match, so you get a superior looking end result. And regardless of the siding products you select, be sure to work with an experienced contractor who genuinely cares about your project. After all, if you invest in quality products and have them properly installed, they should last for the life of your home, allowing you the opportunity to get out and enjoy your free time. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. I sure hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeler.